Welcome to my weekly vlog for the year 2021 about my adventures becoming a truck driver. Let's talk about it, coming up. This week I got to see snow in Texarkana. Got to see some snow in Ohio. I got to see snow. I got to see some scenery. I got to see things that I usually don't see and I'm sharing them with you. I hope you enjoy. After missing the really bad weather, it was time to head south. My destination was Laredo, Texas. As I turned into my fuel stop in Texarkana, I could tell that it was very icy. This is at four times speed. I was traveling far slower than this. I was doing about two miles an hour. But I knew, noticed how slick the ground was. That patch in front of me, that's not wet. That's frozen. This whole parking lot is a sheet of ice. So everyone going out of it is being very, very careful. As I creeped along, I came out towards the exit, and this gentleman had hit his brakes and went straight into the ditch. His trailer wheel is off the ground by at least a foot. He was definitely going to be waiting for a tow truck because he was stuck. I creeped along at about two miles an hour all the way out to the road. This truck stop is an example of one that is difficult to exit to get back onto the highway. All right, Monday is all Texas driving, but the day did not start out well. Got up, went into the pilot to get my coffee, and found this sign on the door. No, this is not good. This is results of the storm. This storm's got to go. And here's something you don't see every day. I have to go through a U.S. Border Patrol checkpoint. No, I did not accidentally wander too far south, wind up in Mexico. This U.S. Border Patrol checkpoint is on Interstate 35 as I'm coming north from Laredo, well inside the United States. Now this time when I go through, all he does is simply ask me if I'm a U.S. citizen. I say yes and I proceed on. A previous trip, I actually had to go through this x-ray machine. If you look off to the right, you'll see a portable x-ray machine. And the guy took a look up top above my sleeper to be sure no one was stashed there. See that portable x-ray machine? They'll have you drive through it. And it takes a little quick look at what's inside your trailer. Trucking companies like their trucks to look good and present a clean image. Once a month, we're able to take our truck to a blue beacon where Cheeseman will pay to have our truck washed. It sure makes a difference on how the truck looks, and you feel a lot better when you're driving a clean truck. Now I'm going to show you how I park the truck. You always wonder how we get into those spots. Well, let's watch as I get into it in real time.
In trucking, there's an expression, if the wheels aren't turning, you're not earning. Well, that's not quite true at Cheeseman. Cheeseman pays us when we have to do a 34-hour layover on the road. That's right, a 34-hour layover on the road, and I got paid $100 for doing it. I took that time to shine up my wheels, get my tractor looking good. And, of course, I was happy to see that this particular pilot had a great coffee bar that was working perfectly, and I was able to get that 64 ounces of pure coffee goodness. Anybody who knows me knows it's not a happy day when I don't have my coffee. Okay, once the break ended, it was time to roll. I actually got another 700-mile day. That's right, 713.3 miles for the day. That was a heck of a driving day. Needless to say, I was busy rolling along. Remember when I crossed the Mississippi River just a couple weeks ago and it was frozen solid? Well, here I am crossing into Illinois on the, over the Mississippi River, and it, there's no sign of all of that ice and that frozen, even though it is cold out. Of course, in that video, I was shocked to, to find out that it froze. I did not know the Mississippi River could freeze. I thought with all that moving water, the mighty Mississippi just rolled on, but apparently it can freeze. It's not frozen here. And we move on. This is where those of you who do not like the landscape scenes can fast forward. I've got about three minutes of four times footage of the sky lightening up, a beautiful day coming into view, and this is what I got into trucking for. Remember that guy got his truck stuck earlier in the video? Well, it happened to me. Rookie mistake. Bobtail went up a driveway to get to the gate, and I was stuck. Two inches of snow and a little ice, and I was stuck. Had to get a wrecker. 
Friday found me delivering in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. Check out this view. On Saturday, I was running my tail off. I got 652 miles. The goal was to get as much done as I could so I could head for home. I wanted to get home on Sunday. This is Salina, Ohio. Salina, Ohio is a small town I seem to pass through often. And they've got this gigantic lake there. A while back, when I had a little spare time, I took the drone up because I wanted to do a little sightseeing. <laughs> 